Hey everybody, this is Hunter. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I know I sure am. The sun is out. It's 55 degrees. Spring is on the way and camping is on the minds of many. And today I've got an awesome family camper. Has, uh, you know, the Versa lounge, the Versa bunk lounge, uh, slide kick out here for the bedroom. I mean, this camper has a ton of sleeping space in a package that's not overly large. You can fit in the state parks and at a price that is definitely family friendly as well you know you can get something like this for well under 300 dollars a month with good credit and when i mean well under i mean pretty significantly under um, so this thing is definitely awesome it's got an outdoor kitchen and a ton of sweet features but let's head on inside and if you guys like rv videos please make sure to like and subscribe i would definitely appreciate it and drop a comment if there's uh, you know some additional factor roonies that you guys want to hear just a little peek here in the bedroom. But you can actually fit a washer and dryer up there, which I'll show you here in a little bit. But let's start off with just one quick peek here around the whole camper. And then we'll go, I think, living room, bunk room, bedroom seems to be the order, you know, that people like. So that's what we'll do. But as you can see, just on the quick look, it has the new Salem interior, that light, bright Malibu, you know, kind of two-tone uh, dealio, and it's pretty slick. Definitely one of my favorite floor plans, especially if you need something to sleep the whole family. So right here, right up front, you've got a nice couch. This is their Versa Lounge, which I'll show you the poster here in a little bit. Pretty comical, I think. Uh, but, you know, you have storage underneath right here. So all you got to do is just yank that. And you got these little plastic totes that they went ahead and supplied for you. But that is on a jackknife, so that pulls up and out. So that way you can sleep somebody there. You also have this dinette for even more sleeping space. You just pop those legs off, you drop that, and you sleep. The nice thing about the Versa Lounge is this right here. You know, you can shift around to wherever you'd like. You can move this to there and just have a one-sided table. You can take it out completely to make one massive bed. But, you know, it kind of gives you, um, you know, more flexibility, flexibility, you know, on the camper itself. And I'll show you this poster. And for those of you that can't read it, but here are the different modes. You got your dinette, your chase lounge, and the full bed, which, as you can see, expands across, you know, the entire side. But you also have your nightshades, which are nice, in front of these big, big windows. That way you can see what's going on at that state park you're at. Uh, you know, it's just nice to have. But anyway, this poster, Versa Lounge, the ultimate in furniture versatility. The most accommodating furniture arrangement in the industry, whether you want to stick with the traditional dinette setup or enjoy the versatility. The Versa Lounge leaves nothing to be desired. Absolutely nothing to be desired left. Nice kitchen area with plenty of space, kind of that little L right there. You got a nice double bowl sink. One of these little doodads that most of your campers are coming with. Got plenty of outlets right there. Uh, you got four of those bad boys. Little window for a little scenic route as well. Big deep storage, which is always nice. That goes about elbow deep, knuckles out. And I am six feet tall. So the, you know that's got some pretty good, uh, pretty good depth to it. Little Greystone microwave here. You know, get yourself a bag of popcorn or some little, uh, you know, easy meals on the run. Your Greystone oven. And your three burner stove top. You also have an additional uh, storage underneath for any type of trash cans or little knickknack items. And then you have an Active Susie. Modern, sleek, hidden drawers. Twice the capacity due to much less height restrictions. And my goodness, you active Susie, you were right. Check that out. Got a couple of those bad boys in there. And uh, yeah, you're good to go. The active Susie. I like the name of that. You have your ever chill 12 volt refrigerator, which is nice because you don't have to run it on propane. And you know, you can run it off the battery, a solar panel, you know, or plug it in like your traditional residential uh, if you would like but those are definitely nice because you don't have to turn them you know off you don't have to turn the propane off when you're going through a tunnel or anything like that and you additionally you have a fireplace 
in this bad boy it goes up to 100 degrees the thing gets smoking hot in here so it saves money on propane gets you going place for a dvd player playstation 4 whatever you guys are doing storage on either side just like that and it kind of shows you an example of what you uh, you know can put on there for a tv you can actually get a 55 inch on this bad boy and then you can you know zip your cords down here so it's all nice and tight real good looking but i do love this uh this living room the versa lounge although the poster is a little bit comical in my opinion it, it is a pretty good deal i mean it's pretty slick all camping brands should be doing it and they also allow for more storage under there as well so you know that goes the depth um you know of this nice little cabinets in here uh, for just additional storage who doesn't want that in a camper and you got even more outlets right there so if you guys are sitting down at the table you need to charge an iphone or something like that you're good to go a little corner shower pretty standard in rvs these days storage underneath the good looking guy in the mirror does not come free maybe at a price though we'll see let's talk to the lady so now this back room is kind of the shining star of this camper outside of the master bedroom you know up front but check this out in a camper this size you've got plenty of area for the kiddos to play on a rainy day usb ports to charge up everything you need outlets down here i mean you just got plug-ins everywhere storage we know the kids how they can stuff anything and everything you got clothes all that good stuff nice comfortable teddy bear bunk series you know for the top little bunk there a nice uh the versa queen is what they call it so you can actually lift this bunk up snap it in there's a little bracket right there so that way you know you can use this as a sofa you can use this as a bed you can use this you know as a bunk room but here's a little poster on it queen with bunk down sofa with bunk up bunk with bunk down the versa queen the ultimate in furniture versatility the most accommodating furniture arrangement in the industry whether you want a second queen bed sofa for the kids or bunk the versa queen is what furniture should be and leaves nothing to be desired i don't know about you but that sounds nice when i'm camping i want nothing left to be desired baby Nice upgraded 15,000 BTU air conditioner so you can get nice and chilly in this bad boy. And the customer opted to put on the second AC as well. But this is what I where I love. This bedroom is just nice space all around. A travel trailer. I'm telling you guys, you do not get this very often. So this is something that I could see myself using. Outlets, outlets nightshade nightshade or windows to catch some pretty sweet scenery depending on where you're going more outlets storage underneath the bed and you see how easy that was check that out big storage under the bed totes right there so you know whether you want to use it as a dresser or put your knickknack items you know you're good to go there and just check that out and that's not slamming down by the way mattress i was holding on to is not attached to that so that's kind of the pace that it flows on its own. TV backer right here with your cable connection and your outlets. And a nice little, um, you know, top there with more storage space. But this front closet, you know, I don't know what you want to call it, but this front closet is awesome. Not only does it look good with those kind of barn looking doors, but it's hanging, it's large, it's just nice. I mean, look at all the, even like the ground space to this. So... <clears throat> I mean, I am like in here. I mean, I could probably, I could crawl in there and hang out. You could take a nap. I don't know if it would hold me or not, but it's pretty cool. Pretty cool for sure. And which is a rarity in the travel trailer market. You could actually put a stackable washer and dryer in this. Uh, this customer opted to not get it, but the dryer vent location is right there. So, you know, you can just pop a hole there, get your dryer vent going and you got yourself a washer and dryer. So awesome camper, just a quick little recap, and I'll show you that here real quick, but please make sure to like and subscribe again if you guys like RV videos, let me know what I can do. But nice L Kitchen, 12 volt refrigerator, Versa Lounge, which has a ton of different abilities, 
your fireplace, and a back bunk room that can sleep a ton of kids depending on how you use it. So it's definitely, definitely got it all going on. But now let's head on outside. I'll show you just a couple minutes here on the outside, this beautiful outdoor kitchen. And then I'm getting on out of here. I'm going to drink some brewskis, maybe grill out. I'm going to have a real good weekend, guys. But as we all know, most RVs have the LED strip. This is no exception. Big old awning. I mean, check out the size of that. That's a little bigger than usual for sure. I've only got it out, you know, about a little under halfway. But right here you have your outdoor speakers. So that way you can bump music inside. I forgot to show you, but you can make it inside or outside. You can compartmentalize uh, the sound. Your dual axles, which are always nice. And check this thing out. So here is the outdoor kitchen. You've got some storage totes right there for any grilling utensils. A nice little up here with a little net so stuff won't fall out while you're driving around. Comes with a poster, that's to show you that can fit a 40 inch TV in this. So that's pretty slick if you're taking a tailgating or something. You got a little sink here and it does have a drain. Um, so, you know, it goes right to your tank. And the Everchill uh, refrigerator. So, you know, you're good to go. Manual jacks, which I do like. You can get with this power jacks, but you don't know how much you know about this power jacks. The manual are definitely the way to go with the strong arms there. Much sturdier. I know it's a little bit more work. Buy yourself a power drill. You'll be happy later on that you did. A ladder for roof access. So that way you can do all of your maintenance. A swing arm grill, that'll come out. Bam. So that way you can use it as part of that outdoor kitchen. Spare tire, of course. And this customer opted to put on the Furion Observation Camera, $550 installed. Anytime you have the running lights on, that screen can be activated. So while you're driving down the road, you have distance markers, you know, all that good stuff. Right here, you do have an outdoor shower, so you can spray yourself off kind of clean. But as you'll see, oh, you can't see it from here, but one, two, three slides on this side, all of which are prepped for a slide topper. So they're $700 a piece, really help prevent, you know, and doing any extra work. Um, so that, that's always a plus. But I appreciate you guys watching. Hope you have a beautiful weekend. I'm about to have a lot of fun. Make sure to like and subscribe. Drop a comment if there's any other information you're looking for. Have a wonderful day. Bye.